There are more bicycles than people in Amsterdam. There are more bicycles than people in the whole country. We may be a small country, but we're a great one too. And no, these bikes are not waiting in a store to be bought. People actually own multiple bicycles. Like for example, in my own bicycle locker, there are six bikes. And yeah, okay, I have to fix four of them, but they still count, right? That doesn't count. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna fix them all four. I have to get rid of three of them and fix one for whenever I got a visitor who doesn't have a bike. I don't know exactly how much trouble it is for the rest of the country, but here in Amsterdam, parking your bicycle can be a real pain in the When you, for example, want to park your bike next to the Amsterdam Central Station, the Amsterdam South Station, or many other spots in the city, you're obligated to park your bike in a bicycle rack. And yeah, those bicycle racks are often fuller than the full moon in Michael Jackson's Thriller. Are you all right? Shut up, Look for example at this bicycle boat, which lies right in front of Central Station, with its multiple floors all full. See all these bicycle racks in front of it? All full. How about around the corner? Full. This city just showed you that it's full. When you're in a rush to catch the train or metro, and I know you're a tourist so you probably won't be, but just imagine for a second. Imagine you're in a rush and you have to park your bike, but the bicycle racks are all full. So the next thing you do is you search for the nearest lantern post tree or a bridge to park your bike. Obviously with a chain attached to it, because otherwise someone can just pick it up, put it in a car and leave. So just imagine it happens to, it happens to you. Imagine that, imagine. You park your bike, you think it's all good, and you're going off to work with the train. What happens next can be two things. One. You come back after a few hours and you see that there's a warning attached to your bike, which is fine because you learned your lesson the easy way. Or two. And now it gets tricky. You come back and your bicycle is gone. <gasps> Don't worry, it didn't get stolen. That's what we all think the first time it happens to us. No, in this case, you'll probably see this sign somewhere nearby. And even if this sign isn't there, it can still happen. And you will see this phone number somewhere saying that you have to call this number whenever your bike is missing. This phone number belongs to a company called AFAC, which is a funny name because AFAC is the first thing you say when you realize that your bike is gone. Stop. AFA takes away wrongly parked bikes from all over the city and it doesn't matter if you have a motorcycle lock from 100 euro attached to it they will just cut it they'll grab your bike and put it at the back of this car then they'll take all these bikes and drive it far far away to their bicycle depot all the way at the edge of the city so what you do now is you're going to call this phone number you're going to tell them the date time and location that you notice that your bike was missing and then you'll hear whenever you're allowed to come to their huge bicycle chain to pick your bike up. Sounds like fun. It's really a punishment because besides the lock that is destroyed, you also have to take the public transport all the way to the edge of the city, to the bicycle jail, and you have to buy back your bike for 20 to 50. And if you wait too long with picking up your bike, it will be 56 25. So yeah, you got an appointment somewhere, it doesn't matter. Come pick up your bike ASAP. ASAP. That means now. The thing with AFAC is sometimes they don't come for a couple of weeks and some weeks they come every day at the same time. So it's quite unpredictable, like an audit visit. You never know when they come. Surprise. So yeah, in many cases you end up parking your bike far, far away from the location or station you actually want to go. Maybe five streets further, you'll finally find a free spot in the bicycle rack. Or you just park your bike in front of a sign like this, which says, don't park your bicycles here. The owners of these bikes are the real daredevils of the city. Yes, well, we saw a daredevil last night and... The municipality of Amsterdam is doing everything it can to improve this by building loads of underground bicycle garages. These last few years, they're building this massive bicycle garage in front of the central station. I saw in an article from 2013 that it was supposed to be finished in 2020, but that has been updated now and it's gonna be finished in 2023. I think that around 7,000 bikes will be able to fit in there. And I also heard they're gonna make a garage at the back of the central station. And you know, it's all good, you know, building underground bicycle garages here and there, but there's just so many bicycles everywhere that I think personally that this issue will always stay. But it also has its charms, right? And what if your bicycle is not taken away by AFAC, but stolen? Check out this video right here for some golden tips. And let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever had any problems with finding back your bike or parking your bike. Getting heavy.